Hey everyone, welcome to Kids Life again. This week we're looking at a theme of don't worry. Don't get upset because you know someone's got our back, a big and awesome God. We've got some extra fun today with craft and some games and we've even got Kathy in today to tell our story. So we hope you have a wonderful time. Now hang on, did you notice something different this morning? Where's Craig? He's not sitting next to me. Let's go find him. Welcome to episode four of Kids Live. And I've got Keisha here. We're so excited for today, but we thought we'd do some actions to start with. Do you want to do some actions with us? Do you want to do some actions, Keisha? Yep. Excellent. Let's be birds today, hey? What type of birds could we be? We could be emus. Emus. Let's be an emu. I'm an emu. Oh, you're going well. Okay, so are you an emu too? All right, what about penguins? Penguins? Penguins! Let's be penguins! Going around, I'm a penguin! What else could we be? We could be ducks. Ducks! Quack, 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 quack. Could we be chickens? Are you a chicken? I think we should be a bird that flies this time. Should we be an eagle? Can you be an eagle with us? <sighs> Eagles have big wings and they're flying high through the sky. Oh, there we go. I think that was good being birds. Were you good birds with us? Thank you so much for helping me. Let's see what's next. Actions of birds? Oh, come on. Can't you do actions of frogs? Or even better, flying frogs. Well, that doesn't really work. Anyway, let's go to a story. Pipsqueak, it's time for another story. This time it's called Bob the Bird. Are you ready? <coughs> Sit down and have a listen. One day, Bob the Bird went to visit his friends. First, he flew to the farm to see Kevin the quail. Come and see the farmer, said Kevin. You won't believe it. He has sown his crop, but every day he worries. What if it doesn't rain? What if the plants don't grow? What if I don't have enough food for my family? Poor fellow, doesn't he have a father in heaven? Like the one who cares for birds? Bob said goodbye to Kevin and flew to town to see Penelope the pigeon. Come and see the butcher, said Penelope. You won't believe it. He says his sausages are all beef, but I've seen him fill them. They're half sawdust. Every day he worries. If I don't cut corners, I'll go broke. If I go broke, I'll lose my shop. If I lose my shop, I'll lose my reputation as a respectable businessman. Poor fellow, doesn't he have a father in heaven like the one who cares for birds? It was getting late, so Bob said goodbye to Penelope and flew off to visit his old friend, Ozzy the Owl. Come and look at this, said Ozzy. You won't believe it. She does an honest day's work, then stays up every night worrying. What if prices go up? What if my wages go down? What if I fall asleep and someone steals my money? Doesn't she have a father in heaven, like the one who cares for the birds? The next day, Bob saw a crowd of worried people. He felt sad because they didn't seem to have a father in heaven who cared for them. But in the middle of the crowd was one man who looked happy. Don't worry about your life, he said. Don't worry about having something to eat or wear. Life is more than food and clothes. 
look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns. Yet your Father in heaven feeds them. Hooray! The people do have a Father in heaven who cares for them. If only they would believe it. Pipsqueak, do you believe it? Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for reading the story to us today, Kathy. You know, that story relates to a story in this book, the Bible. And so in the Bible, Jesus is talking to the people and he actually says this. He says, I tell you not to worry. Don't worry about having things that other people have. Isn't life more than those things? Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant, they don't harvest, they don't even go to the shops. Yet, God takes care of them. Aren't you worth more than the birds? And so that's a story in Matthew in the Bible. And so we have to remember that when we worry about things, you don't have to worry about them because God is looking out for us. Thanks, Craig. That was great. We're going to do a craft now. And this craft is from the story. Do you remember the farmer sowing the seeds? He might have been sowing some crops that we eat like carrots or maybe potatoes. Who knows? It could be anything that you could imagine. But today we're going to pretend that it was flowers and we're going to make our very own flower pot. You need a few things from home. You can see I've put mine in an egg carton. You can make as many flowers as you want. And I've got some paddle pop sticks to hold up my flowers. And then around the front, we've used some different types of paper, different colors. And I've even used some wool to make my flowers stand up. And it's just a little ball of wool. You might have that, you might not. And that's okay, you can come up with something wonderful to get your special flowers to stand up in their flower pots. So to make our flower, we need a paddle pop stick. We're going to use some paper. And to get them round, I drew around a cup, but you don't have to. You can just use your wonderful imagination or you can draw your flower. And I'm going to draw around the cup here and around, we might use the other end, the cup here and then you need to cut it out. It's okay if you need some help for this one and you might want to press pause while you catch up. You might have some flowers in your garden at home that you want to copy. Maybe you've got white flowers or pink flowers or maybe some green leaves or maybe you've even got plants that look like they've got fairy leaves. There's all sorts of different flowers out there so you can choose what yours look like. To make them look like their petals you can cut a little gap like that. It doesn't have to be any particular way. You can just make it any old way you want. Every flower gets to look its very own way. And I'm sure yours will look beautiful. So now we've got the outside of our flower and we've got the inside of our flower. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'll put glue all over this part. Glue, glue, glue. And I'm going to stick my orange part here. And I might take out a bit of white cardboard and cut a little circle like that. And I'm going to glue that one on. And there's my flower. And I'm going to stick that onto my paddle pop. 
So take some sticky tape, pop it on the back, and you've got your flower. And then I'm going to make my leaf. You might take your green crayon to draw your leaf. that it looks like that and then you're going to cut out your leaf don't rush take your time get some help if you need it maybe you'll use real leaves from the garden take some sticky tape and sticky tape your leaf onto your stick just like that and then we can add our extra flower to the garden by pushing it down into the soil. It's actually wool. Hoping that it will grow and stand beautifully with the others. Whoops. There we go. What does yours look like at home? Did you make a garden? I've got three flowers. How many do you have? Well, next, we're going to hear a song. thing I don't know what it is but I hope it's about frogs in the story today that Kathy read there was a bird called Bob 
it made me thinking, what type of birds do we have in our area? So I think we should go and find out what type of birds. I think there's some seagulls at the beach. I'm going to grab some chips and go and feed them. Let's go. Again? Oh, come on! What about frogs? I need more frog stuff! I was sitting out the other day trying to catch flies and a bird swooped down and grabbed me fly! Come back with me fly, bird! <sighs> birds. Well, we're going to sing a story about some birds now. I wonder if you know what the story might be. I have a mama duck. I have a hill, and I have five little ducks. That's right, it's a story about the five little ducks. How about you join me as we sing together? Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. One, two. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Just the one. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Oh dear. Mama Duck's a bit sad, isn't she? Let's see what happens next. Sad Mama Duck went out one day Over the hill and far away Mama Duck said quack, 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 quack I wonder what happens. And all of the five little ducks came back. One, two, three, four, and our last little duck, number five, all snuggled up with their mummy. For this craft, we're going to make some of our ducks from the song that Christy just sang us earlier. And you will need some paper or some cardboard, some coloured pencils or textures, some scissors, some glue, some joggle eyes and some sticky tape. You can press pause to go and get those items if you'd like. For my ducks I use some yellow card or paper. You can use whatever colour you want. And we draw our duck's body and then our duck's head, and don't forget his little beak. And then it's got a little back, and then a 
sweet little wing. Little tail feathers. And I've coloured my wings in. And you can colour yours in too if you'd like. I made mine orange. Maybe you'll have rainbow ducks. And then take your scissors. You might need a grown up to help. And you can cut out your duck. As carefully as possible. You can press pause if you're not ready yet. And then I'm going to stick on my googly eye. So you don't get glue all over your fingers. You can use a Q-tip if you'd like. And just put a little bit of glue where you'd like your little joggle eye to go. There we go. I've stuck it on there. Next, we need to make the little circle that holds the duck onto our fingers. All you need is a bit of paper, Cut a strip, measure it round your finger, and sticky tape that down so that you've made a little cylinder. And then we want to stick it to our duck. You can glue it or you can sticky tape it to the back of your duck. Putting the sticky tape on the back pushing your little cylinder on there so that you've got a little duck ready to join your five little ducks. And you can make all of them so that you can do your own story at home. Let's go and see what Simon has to say. That was great! Now don't forget to send in your pictures again. We really love to see those pictures. And I'll see you back again next week because I think, I think next week's Frog Week. Yeah! Hey, we had a wonderful time with you guys today. I hope you had fun too. Yeah, we sure did. Lots of fun doing crafts and games and out and about. Did you do your crafts? Maybe they look a bit like ours, your yeah. ducks. Did you do ducks? These ducks are so cool. The mother duck and five little ducks. And do you remember Christy singing the song about the ducks? Yeah, uh, and maybe you made your garden with your dirt and your flowers. Yeah. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye, so don't forget to send your pictures in, and we'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>